Hey folks, Kevin here. Sorry it's a windy day, so I'll make this short. Try to make it short. Uh, it's April 11th, uh, 2023. Today I'm out by where the rain gutter garden is and we're gonna do some modifications so we can get some of our perennial plants healed in and uh, remove the, the rain gutter garden. So yesterday I removed some of the cattle panels and T-posts and the drip tape that uh, that was around here to keep the deer from going into the uh, eastern garden plot. I went out back and we have some of our old uh, totes, IBC totes that I cut down and grown plants in, in in the past. With it being on the metal uh, pallet down here, it makes it easier for us to move it around. I'm going to go ahead and drill some holes in the bottom. And what I'm going to do is take the soil that's already in these uh, in the rain gutter garden, move that soil into here, move this off to the side. I may have enough for two of these totes, one a little bit taller than this one, and uh, and that way we can take some of our uh, our bare root plants and heal them in in here, and uh, let some of the bare root plants uh, start to grow out until maybe this fall because I've got a lot of trees. We, you know, with our reforesting goals, we have thousands of trees that we want to get planted and we just don't have the time to do as much stuff as we like to do because we have a lot of cleaning up to do out there in the forest. So we need to have a temporary staging uh, stations where we can continue to grow some of these trees until we're capable of getting into the forest and getting the areas cleared up and getting them planted and getting them uh, protected as well. So that's what I'm working on uh, this morning. So here we go.
Okay, I'm back. It's the same day. Just got done with lunch. Came out here to get some more done. It's supposedly something like in the 60s uh, already, but potentially 68 degrees. That's what it said. Uh, that's what Alexa said anyways. So I thought I'd just share with you the rain gutter system. The rain gutter system is a very, very good gutter system. If you look online, you'll see there's buckets that have wicking uh, ports in them drilled in the bottom of the buckets. And therefore it's self watering. Uh, you lose, you use less water, less chance of water being on the surface of the pots or the buckets or the systems and all. Our system here, we didn't have a cover over it, so rain would get into it, so this, so it, it could get oversaturated. And during the winter time, I didn't have drains for the rain gutters themselves. But I'll turn around and show you what it looks like. So what I did was years ago, I went to one of the big either Home Depot or Lowe's store and picked up these uh, these plastic totes that you could use for scrubbing things or use for mixing mortar, that sort of thing. And then I drilled some holes in the bottom of the totes. And here's what fits into the holes are these little baskets. These baskets fit into the holes. And then you just put a wicking material in there. So it could be like a, 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 a peat moss or it could be a, a, a rag, a sweatshirt, whatever it is. And that way you don't have to water the plants once they start getting roots and all. And these fit down into the rain gutter. So here's the rain gutter system. Now, over the years, soil has worked its way through the little, little pores. And I have a float on here that would raise the water level when the water level got too low. Uh, now, we did have mice get up in here, here as well. So these are just simple rain gutters that you could pick up. I put it up on two layers of six by six, well, let me see if we can show it down here, six by six beams. Then I went ahead and took some pressure treated two by fours and two by sixes, made frames all the way around for each one of these totes. Uh, got the rain gutters where I wanted it, so it's all one unit going all the way down to the other end. Put the totes in here side by side, made sure each one of these uh, baskets were filled with a, with a wicking uh, agent that could allow moisture to be drawn from the uh, the rain gutters themselves and self water the beds and it'd be on an automatic system so as water is needed it just go through the hose and feed the uh, rain gutters underneath these so I just got done uh, taking the soil that were that were in these all of these totes and uh, there's still some soil in them, but these will all get cleaned, cleaned up. We'll reuse these. Sorry about the wind. And uh, so this is one of the IBC totes. In the bottom, we'll use this soil that's there. There's weed seed in it, of course. We'll put some more compost on top of this one. And they're tall enough that we can uh, heal in plants and we can also uh, grow out over the next season uh, some of the oak trees, swamp white oak trees, chestnut trees, whatever it is, the various trees, and uh, keep them healthy and keep them growing until we can plant them again or we sell them. Sorry about the wind here. It's a bit crazy. And uh, I'm going to get at it, see if I can get some of these totes out of here and get some more uh, accomplished today. Here we go.
Okay, uh, it's about 3 p.m. I'm a little tuckered out, out of shape <laughs> after the long winter. And uh, I did get a couple of totes filled from the uh, rain gutter garden beds. So those are, are set enough so that we can get at least two uh, uh, beds of the trees that we're going to get in. We're going to have to put some compost in here. And of course, we'll top those off. Sorry about the wind. We'll top those off. And got the rain gutter gardens out. The totes I got over, the tubs I have over in the uh, coop area. I'm sorry about all the wind. And uh, got all the materials that were salvageable. Unfortunately, most of the pressure treated boards are decomposing. It's only been 10 or 12 years. When you have high moisture content like we have here, they just rot right away. Even the galvanized screws, probably 50% of them completely uh, rusted through and snapped, making it a real hassle. So I got most of it uh, taken care of. I'll, I'll pack this off. We really want to have the water to continue to drain down here. With the rain gutter garden going here where the six by six is going in this direction, it sort of obstructed the flow. So we got a lot of soil building up in here. I'll dress this all up, smooth it out. We're gonna have some drier days and that'll be good. Then we'll decide just whereabouts to put the totes in here and fence it off so that the deer can't chew on all of our beautiful oak trees and the rest of our, our berry bushes and all. So that's it for today's video, folks. Uh, I don't know how well the video will turn out with the time lapse and all that, but hopefully it will be somewhat entertaining. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe and take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.